Oh, you know how people write in to newspapers to the editor and they're just oh, they're either complaining about something or it's observation and yes. it's just a little paragraph from people. Mm-hmm. Check out the nerve of this lady, Diana Davenport. The headline is Reward the Wealthy. So while visiting my local supermarket, I was disgusted to find the best parking spaces nearest the door are now reserved for so-called parent and child parking. Oh, if yes, I've noticed that as well. <laughs> if you're fit enough to produce offspring, you should jolly well be able to walk across a car park into the supermarket. The best spaces <laughs> should be reserved for people with the most expensive cars. Oh, I agree. It is us who are likely to spend the most money in the supermarket <laughs> and to have the most shopping to carry back to our cars. Well, you can't <laughs> fault that. <laughs> What do you think that's funny? I think that's ridiculous. Are you joking? But she's got a point. It's sort of like when I fly uh, business or first class overseas. It's a 15-hour flight. Yes, I've got the lay-down bed and the cutlery and the extra warm bun and the and the choice of desserts. The extra warm bun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, extra they, warm Do they get you? a cold in economy? Or? Yeah, they do. You oh. just get a bit of bread, don't you? You don't get it warmed up. Oh, I thought the trolley is like a... Oh. Trolley. They're handing out boxes with apples in it down the back. You don't even know yourself. That's some airlines. No, then you fly 15 hours to Los Angeles, for example, Mm. and you get out and you've paid all this money for a first-class ticket, sometimes $30,000 for a first-class ticket. Yeah. Or or more. Yeah. And then only to be stampeded by backpackers and people from economy running past you, only for you to be 900th in line at customs. Ah, to get to customs. Where's the benefit of paying all that money? Or well, just walk fast. I mean, if you're first I'm not out, going to run, like, with the herd. So what perk should you I have? I expect them to be kept in the plane until I've arrived at customs and cleared through. Anyway. Let, let not me, the poor. Let me do a quick a survey of the wealthy. The rest of you, save your credit. Don't bother ringing in. I do not want to hear from poor people. Only rich people now. They're very wealthy. Yeah. What's another rich person problem that other people just don't understand? Or what perk they should have that yeah, perks the rest you of, want. What about if in life, everywhere you go, there was a VIP express lane for <laughs> rich people? I know, but you, I'm sorry, but that's sort of what my life's like. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm not that's joking. That's called jumping the queue. So when I get into Chargill Char- Charlie's and there's 300 people there it's, and they go, yeah. Kyle, Kyle, yeah. come up the front. They're not doing that to somebody else. And I proudly go, excuse me, guys, that's me. <laughs> Excuse me, that's me. They went up the front. Sorry. I know you've been waiting quite a while with your nine kids, but here I am. I'll take that last chook. Sorry, no. I'll take that last barbecue chicken. Thank you. And she goes, oh, anyway, kids, let's all pile back in the Tarago. Maybe next week we can get a chicken. I could care less. I want that chicken. Hugh has rung in from Cronulla. Good morning, Hugh. Hey, guys. I think that there should be a rich person park for the beach. That's not full of all the Western Sydney people with their whole friggin' living room. With chairs and eskies and crap. Right, so what you want like a like a roped off a like roped a velvet off rope on area the on the beach? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you what what would be in the roped off area? Would there be sun lounges and waiters, and it would be like the full deal? Lingerie or waitresses. Is it just whole sand, lot? and it's just Absolutely. your special area? Absolutely. Maybe um, some some light music playing in the background. <laughs> It would look ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely. Nicer sand as well, a lot finer. Oh, <laughs> yes, nicer. Sand shipped in from Whitehaven Beach in the Whit Sundays would be a lovely spot. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So 100%. you'd be able to see it. You wouldn't even need the velvet robe. You'd see it just by the quality of sand. Oh, this is our sand here. I like that.